Hello, Obophiles! Today, we're talking about Furling Etude number 24, which is the Fast Etude and F Sharp Minor. Now, this video is also coming about in celebration of reaching 2,000 subscribers. I know it's been a little while, but I had a little bit of things to get organized. It's been a crazy year, and we're almost to the end of it. So before the end of the year, I wanted to give out some free lessons or read. So make sure you stick around for the end, where I'm going to be doing the random drawing to see who is going to win. But before we get to that, Furling 24 just has three main concepts. And the first one is the Scherzando. Scherzando is just like a fun game thing or like a playful idea in music. See any of the Beethoven symphonies. And in this one, we're going to keep the triple meter by emphasizing beat one. So we have this feel, one, two. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'll always ask my students, when you're in triple meter, which pulse gets the most weight? Because they're not all created equally. And of course the answer is the first one. So this rhythm here, ba 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 has a tendency to turn around so it sounds like this. Ba 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 But you want to be very intentional with giving beat one the emphasis. And this way you can preserve the meter. There are some tricky runs in this etude. Uh, I have a whole video on how to practice fast technique runs and things. But I think the hardest part is the last run. Well, there's a couple of hard parts. But it's all having to do with negotiating the C-sharp. So just a reminder that the pinky of the C-sharp doesn't need to go right smack dab in the middle of the key. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, but you will want to play with the placement of your pinky. I tend to put mine a little bit on the top of the key. That way when I have to get to the C key, for example, slowing to high C sharp, I just scoot it over. The less you have to move, the more efficient your technique can be. And of course, avoid squeezing. That's a big thing. The last thing is the high F sharp is new in this etude. And if you haven't seen it before, you might not know the fingering. Now I have a whole video talking about how to practice the high register and all the high note fingerings, so you might want to check that out. But in this one, the high F sharp fingering that I use is one, two, one, C key, and the third octave key if you have one. If not, use the first octave key. Yeah, it sounds pretty much the same with either octave key. <laughs> so whichever one you want to practice using is going to be uh, the one you practice using. <laughs> uh, this one is a harmonic of B flat. So just kind of keeping in mind it has that similar voicing, but you're going to be overblowing it is all. Okay, so that was the tutorial for Furling Etude number 24. This one, I haven't seen it come up on an all-state list yet, which means it might be coming up soon. You know how they like to pick new etudes. And if it does, I wish you luck on your auditions, whether it's in 2021 or beyond. The last thing we have to do is draw some winners randomly. So let's go to the wheel of randomization and we'll uh, check that out right now. Okay, so here we are going to generate the random numbers. We've got our list of entrants. There's 63 of them. So we've got 63s on the numbers, and we'll pick two winners. Here we go. Winner number one. Do, 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 do. Can't wait. Wondering, wondering. And it's number 35. Great. So number 35, you're the first winner. Let's see who that is. And number 35 is... Let's see, Heather Visser. Heather Visser is the first winner. Awesome. And we'll spin for one more. We've got number 24. Number 24 is our other winner, and that is Gracie Shang. All right, so super exciting. Um, I will reach out to you guys to talk about your winnings. And yeah, good luck. Uh, next time around, we'll be at 5,000 subscribers probably. Maybe 3,000. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how fast the channel grows. But yeah, uh, might do other fun stuff. Might offer different prizes. Uh, just make sure you subscribe and comment below if you want to be entered for the next one. And of course, when in doubt, play beautifully.
So congratulations to our winners. Thank you all so much for entering. Uh, again, to enter into future con contests, all you have to do is subscribe and comment the video below and then fill out a little form. I know it's a little bit of hoops, but I mean, these reads are kind of <laughs> expensive to make. And of course, lessons are expensive to give. So uh, I want to spread the Opal Files love as much as possible. I appreciate all the support. A like goes a long way if you find these videos helpful at all. I really appreciate it. And when in doubt, play beautifully.